Hey guys, just on my way downstairs to do some work on the Amun Telecaster and I'll show you what I'm up to. So, <laughs> lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Uh, so, I was just in the process of shielding it and uh, I re-drilled uh, for the Babix Bridge. So, the Babix Bridge is a three-hole, you can see there at the bottom, three-hole mount, just like that one. Uh, like the original one was but the problem is it doesn't line up so the sizing is a little different so this is where the bridge needs to be uh, and these three holes here were just above these ones and as you can see the original ones were totally messed up at the factory like there's he two drill points and they're so I didn't want to have another one <laughs> like just above it so I decided to go with the four hole drill points um, so basically all I did is, um, I put the neck back on and I ran, I, I covered the guitar with masking tape. Um, I ran a straight edge. Uh, I got a four foot level. So I ran all the way down the neck, uh, ran a straight line, ran another straight line. And then, uh, I ran a line at the 25 and like at 25 and a half. So for the scale for the first, uh, saddle here. And then that just gave me some reference points. And then I was able to, to check to see if the bridge was centered. Uh, and then I just kind of taped the bridge in place uh, where I thought it was good. And then I, uh, I ran a couple of old strings uh, all the way up to the top of the neck. I actually tied them into the tuner and then pulled them tight. And I was able to angle them. I had the bass string saddle and the treble string saddle. Uh, in place, so I was able to run them and make sure that the strings are running over the pickups. Now this bridge is uh, 54 millimeter or 54.4, I think it is. The original bridge is a 52.4, so um, so the the string passing over the magnets aren't perfect on this one, but that's fine. Like I didn't want to buy another cheap bridge for a cheap guitar, which I already had a cheap bridge for. I just wanted something black. And I had this Babix one. So ironically, this Babix bridge costs more than this whole guitar. <laughs> Here in Canada, these Babix are like over $200. So, um, so anyway, I have it and it fits. I put the GFS pickup in already. And, um, and these are the quick plug uh, pickups here. So that should work great. So yeah, so we're just in the process of, uh, of, uh, shielding it. So I got the, this cavity done. I just started with this one and then I'll shield up this one and then I'll run some tape under here. Uh, just so I won't have to run a physical ground wire. I'll, uh, I'll just ground it from inside the cavity and, uh, and that should be good. So, uh, stay tuned. Now for these holes, just in case, I ever sold this guitar or whatever like I'm definitely not selling it with the Babix bridge that I'll never get my value back out of it uh, just a bridge alone I'd have to get you know 150 bucks for it <laughs> just and even that that would be like almost 100 bucks off the price of the bridge so um, I'm going to take some some epoxy this is some very fairly liquid epoxy uh, and it's clear and I'm going to uh, mix some of that and shove it in this little syringe here and I'm going to inject um, I'm going to inject epoxy in these holes because if ever I want to install that original bridge um, These holes being like screwed in screwed out and all this stuff like it, it it won't I don't think it's gonna stay solid for very long and these bridge screws the original bridge bridge screws that come on this Amun like check this out like they're super short like they're only like a three-quarter inch screw right so um Anyway, I mean, although there is there is five of them, it's fine. But when when the screw holes are messed up like that, uh, these little screws are probably uh, not going to last very long. Because there's a lot of tension on these strings when you torque up a guitar, right? So uh, anyway, so that's where we're at. I'm going to keep plugging away, and uh, I'll uh, I'll chime in later. See ya. So body's pretty much done. All the cavities are shielded. Um, the original. Mounting screw holes have been injected with epoxy. So let me get out of the shadow here. So yeah, they're perfectly level. So I basically just, like I said, I mix up a little bit of this stuff and then I uh, poured it in here and then I injected the holes right until it started squeezing out, let them settle for a little bit. And then I take I take this thing, which is just basically a little, 
no little cutting blade with a flat edge. And then I just simply scrape the excess off the top of the tape, just so everything is nice and level, so I won't have to do any sanding and scuff up the paint any more than it's already damaged by these terrible bridge mounting holes here. <laughs> and uh, so at least now they're solid. Once that dries, they'll be nice and solid in there. And uh, if I have to uh, drill some corner holes here in this bridge, I won't have to worry about them not lining up or maybe, you know, just kind of catching on the edge of it and being loose. And so it should be, um, it should be good. Um, everything should be fine. So what I did is I, I overlapped some uh, shielding tape over here and I ran a strip down the middle. And then on the back of the plate, you can see where I just, I sanded along the pickup here, along this side, uh, right here, right? And right down the middle. So when I set the bridge in, um, when I set the bridge in, like this, everything will make contact. Um, so all I'm gonna do is run, take a little screw uh, attached to a wire and I'm just gonna fire that screw in the bottom here, the control plate, uh, or of the pickup cavity, sorry. I'm just gonna fire a screw right there. And then I'll, on the other side, I'll run it through and I'll solder it to the back of the volume pot. So all this shielding uh, right under the bridge will be grounded to the volume pot. And uh, and then since the bridge is sitting on the shielding, it should uh, it should give me a good ground. So anyway, that's where we're at. We'll see you in a few. Okay, so one cool thing about the Amun uh, pick guard. <laughs> so I just I just took the plastic off of it because uh, I want to mount the I want to mount the pickup, and um, and it's got another one. <laughs> so it's got two layers of plastic kind of protecting it. And underneath is really nice black, you know, uh, finish. So yeah, pretty neat that uh, they would go through the trouble of putting two layers of plastic on top of the pick guard. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, got the GFS pickup in. And this is a message for GFS. Your neck pickup screws that you include, um, they suck. These are for hard mounting a pickup. Uh, but for most of us who like to, to adjust your pickup when there's a pick guard in there, these are no good. They're not threaded. They're just half threaded. So when you put your screw in here, right? Let's see if I can focus that. See the spring there? On your screw, if I was to do this, there would be no threads there to catch the pickup to be able to adjust it up and down. So, yeah, um, you can throw these in if you want, but throw some good ones in there too. So, to ground this whole cavity um, to the volume pot, I'm just I just got to take this wire. This wire, the end of this one is going to go to the volume pot. And all I did was bend a little ring like that. So I just, you know, I just made it into a little ring. And uh, and then I'm going to just put a screw through it. And I'm going to screw it down here at the bottom of the cavity. And that'll run across and, to the, and solder to the bottom of the volume pot. And that's it. All right, well, I'm just in the process of wiring everything up. Neck pickup's in, fat body bridge pickup is in. Uh, everything's wired up. I used the small pots just to allow for more space in here because that's what was in there. And I ordered uh, one of these Dopro Kashi switches. They were like 30 bucks, but they were patent pending. They're Pretty neat, like all the pins here are already connected, um, you know, and so it's like foolproof. You um, you can't kind of make a mistake. So, I don't know, I think that switch will be better than just the cheap box switches that kind of come with these. So, um, anyway, hopefully that'll work out. Uh, so I'm just going to assemble that and uh, and then I'll connect the jack. I didn't get my black cover plate yet, that hasn't come in. But uh, 
So you know, the, the black cover plate, the black uh, uh, jacks plate here. So I'll just I'm just gonna do uh, I'm just gonna connect the plate and plug it in, make sure the pickups work, and then uh, that'll be good. Or connect the jack. Did I say connect the plate? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. So as you can see, the bottom of the switch is uh, all shielded. And uh, I left uh, some little tabs here where the mounting screws go. So that everything should be shielded. Um, and that gray wire right here, right there, is the one that was that I mounted with a screw under here. So we should be all grounded up and uh, shielded. So time to assemble. All right, we'll do a little test here. Uh, bridge pickup. Yep. Neck. Yep. Middle. Okay. Volume. Yep. We're good. And tone. Yep. Thing seems to work. Definitely works. All right. So, my moon body is done. Well, all right. So, we are almost done. All the black hardware is on. My uh, black jack plate, came, or yeah, jack plate came in today. Fabix bridge is on. I don't have my, uh, I don't have my saddles in yet. I gotta polish this up. Uh, pickups are in. Everything's wired. Everything works like you saw earlier. I even did a complete fret leveling and crowning. And I know the lighting is not great, but these frets are super nice. And I conditioned the fretboard. So I didn't show the fret leveling because I really didn't know what I was doing. But a big shout out to my buddy Two Bike Mike. Um, he convinced me I could do this and uh, coached me through. <laughs> and I went out and bought all the stuff. And uh, yeah, I did my first fret leveling tonight. And uh, turned out turned out great. <laughs> Beginner's luck, I guess. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll really, I'm just waiting for the tuners. So my tuners did come in, but they sent me the chrome ones. I ordered the black, so um, I received the wrong one. So uh, today's Sunday, so tomorrow I got to order, um, or I got to resend, send them back the black or the chrome tuners that I received. And the black tuners are, they've been shipped and they should be here by, well, hopefully the end of the week. So um, once that's done, uh, once I get the tuners on there, I can restring. Uh, I'm just leaving the plastic nut in for now. It wasn't binding at all and uh, the guitar was staying in tune perfectly. So I'm just going to file these out just a little bit to make sure they're, uh, they're not catching. Um, I'm going to lube them up. And I'm just going to leave them in for now until I get the guitar set up exactly the way I like it. And then uh, I'll see. I know um, in talking with Mike and watching his video on his Amun telly, um, so these nuts are these nuts are a lot uh, deeper, like from top to bottom, uh, than uh, a typical... see if I can get that to focus. Typical Strat nut. So... Um, I do have a GraphTech pre-slotted nut that I could just drop in there. With wise it's perfect, it would fit, but then it sits too low. So I am going to need some kind of shim. Um, and I just, I'm not sure exactly how to do that. So I'm just going to leave it in there and uh, 
you know, it'll give me a chance to check out my fretwork <laughs> and uh, check out these new pickups and see how the guitar works. So yeah, I just need another little uh, cleaning of the guitar, put the saddles in, tuners on, put the strings on, and rock and roll. So stay tuned for for uh, the final video coming up soon, and uh, we'll give this thing a whirl. And then I'll give you uh, a breakdown of what I got into it, and uh, my final thoughts as, is it worth it to buy, you know, something like this for like a hundred and... 169 bucks, I think, is what uh, it was when I got it. And then I had a $10, I think $10 or $20 coupon through Christmas on Amazon for some weird reason. It was just there when I went to, to, to check out. Uh, so the guitar, after taxes and, and everything for, for uh, us here in PI, it's 15%, was about 185 bucks, like to my door. And uh, you heard it. You heard it. it. It stayed in tune. It played great as did the black one that I bought in the previous video to compare. The black one I sent back, so I decided to keep the white one uh, as for popular demand. That's what uh, most of you said. So yeah, that's where we're at. So you guys take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the final video uh, for um, uh, the demo. Take care, guys.